There's a lady who's sure All that glitters is gold And she's buying a stairway to heaven I was doing that after your video. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> um, I believe that was my first album I ever owned was a Led Zeppelin album. I don't remember which album it was, but my first album, ooh, I'm giving my age away by saying album, not CD. Um, that was my first album, and I remember singing, and she's buying the stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed, with a word she can get what she came for. <laughs> I remember that old Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I remember a lot of those old groups. But I'm not into that music anymore, I'm afraid. You know, I'm more into positive, you know, gospel, perhaps. Gospel, I like gospel music now. I'm out of rock. Um, I've had my fair share of all the rock I can take. So, I'm not doing that. But anyway, Carol. <laughs> Hello. I'm sending you another video response. I see I already have one up there. I saw that you had uh, voted on my video I just did with... Um, I'm kind of struggling with that song. Um, oh, what, what's the name of that song? Um, oh, Butterfly Kisses? Yeah. I'm a little struggling with it still. It's not one that I'm really happy with, but one I just recorded. Some songs I feel like are just an easy flow, and other ones I want to say, let go. <laughs> and I guess some are just made for my voice, others are not. But, um, anyway, um, how's it going? And... I just got, I just went to the pharmacy today. Oh, I spent $75 out of my little bitty check that I had to go to my medication. Isn't that fun? Not. I don't know what she put me on. She put me on all kinds of sort of things. So if I start going, boop, boop, <sighs> wouldn't surprise me. Not, you know, I think drugs are um, actually not the best thing you should be taking. You know, she thinks I'm depressed. You, you know what? My doctor, she thinks I'm depressed, okay? And I know I've got some stress around me. But you know what I told her? Well, I know I didn't tell her this. I should have told her this. I should have said, I'm not depressed. I'm around a bunch of depressed people. And I, maybe that's what's got me down. But I'm not depressed myself. I'm just around people who are. I don't, to be honest, I feel that way. I'm pretty happy-go-lucky for the most part, you know. How you see me on here is basically how I am all the time. I mean, I don't get, I get down once in a while, but I just think some of what is around me rubs off on me, you know. I don't rub off on them, they rub off on me. So, I don't think I'm that depressed, you know. But she seems to think I am, so she put me on something. And I said, well, I'll try it, but I'm not guaranteeing I'm staying on it, you know what I mean? Because I don't like drugs. I, I mean, back in the drug time of the 60s and 70s, you know, I did a little bit of experimenting. And I just, you know, uh, felt that being straight was a high, to tell you the truth. <laughs> so, I don't, uh, at my age, I'm, I'm growing up and I don't want any of that in my life anymore. And, uh, anyway... So, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Basically, I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky person. I feel I don't need all these drugs that these doctors want to put me on. You see what happened to Anna Nicole Smith and Elvis. You know, you wonder. And, and, and... Uh, Marilyn Monroe, you're thinking, you kind of think, well, is it a plot to get rid of people? 
Let's just pump them full of drugs and out of here they are. We don't have to deal with them anymore. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you wonder. I always think there's a big plots going on in the world, you know. I really do. <laughs> I always think everybody's out to plot something. For the most part, you know the world, how it goes. But, um, I'm positive too. I'm not just negative. I'm mostly positive. Yeah. What do you want? Gosh, my dog is... I just gave you steak. I fed my dogs steak and hamburger. How's that for living the dog life? I, I buy these cheap steaks. They're real big, you know, like this. And they're real cheap, like $2 or $3. You know, so I fry them up and cut them up and feed them to the dogs. Because well, I'm not eating that slice of meat. I'm too finicky. But and I fix hamburger for them. You know, that's, they have dry food, too. But I like to treat my doggies. You know, um, but I got two that's walking around here having sex. <laughs> it's it's a little bit funny because it's a German Shepherd and a Beagle. Now picture that <laughs> Beagles are little dogs, and my Shepherd is in the heat. And um, I don't know <laughs> what kind of puppies those are gonna be. A Beagle and a Shepherd, a little bit strange. I, I'm kind of curious. If I do have puppies, what they're going to look like, you know. I love puppies. And I had a, I had some puppies last year. And I had like nine of them that came out. And I was like, oh, how am I going to get rid of nine puppies? Well, I put an ad in the paper. And I'll tell you what, like hotcakes they went. I mean, they went so fast. I had, my head was spinning. I mean, they were just come and get them, come and get them, come and get them, come and get them. You know, everybody wanted my puppies because... Um, they were very cute. Oh, they were so cute. And they went faster than a hot cake. I thought, dang, puppy business is doing pretty good. I didn't charge that much for them. I guess that's probably why they came after them so much. But anyway, I don't mind having puppies because it seems like people really, you know, they want the puppies. Cats are harder to get rid of, you know, unless it's Christmas. Then Christmas, <laughs> forget it. I had... 22 kittens one time around Christmas time and I swear my phone was ringing off the hook and I had I made about $300 you know and I wished I'd had 22 more because I kept calling after Christmas you got any more of those kittens left? got any more of those kittens left? so you know I don't have any trouble getting rid of kittens and puppies it seems like I actually seem to carry the whole Indiana area. <laughs> they come, they drive for miles. It's amazing. They will drive <laughs> from other cities to hit me. You know, I'm like, dang, you drove all this way for a puppy? Oof, whatever, but you know, it's better than going to the pet store because they charge you an arm and They want three and four and five hundred dollars for an animal. It's like, come on, let's 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 give people a break here, you know, shoot. It's just an animal. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I mean, maybe you got one of those pedigrees, and I just can't see paying that kind of money for a dog. You know, just I just can't see it. I mean, dogs are dogs, and I've got, actually, I have three pedigrees I came across for free. I mean, I got a black lab, I got a German Shepherd, and I got a Beagle, and they were all free. I didn't pay a dime. Because, I mean, they're expensive enough. You got to feed them and buy Flea stuff and yeah, you're she, you can hear her, she's playing her sound and she's an old dog. She acts like a puppy. You better quit acting like a puppy. Don't you know you can't be silly like a puppy? That's there's something wrong with you if you do that. The world thinks you're crazy, <laughs> like me. You know, you better quit acting like a child. What's wrong with you? What are you being silly for? Look at you. You know, who cares? I'm I'm childlike and I'm proud of it. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a speak out video. I don't feel like making any more singing videos or anything for a while. I'm kind of going to lay low for a while, I think, maybe. I can't think of anything to do skit-wise or anything. I'm kind of a stagnant point video-wise. So, anyway, I'm pretty much watching what I'm making, I think. So anyway, Carol, I thought I would say hello, and um, what else? Oh, what 
what's new with you. I've told you all my mental uh, 